Here we have two photos taken at 28 millimeters at the same time on the same day on the same tripod. A6000. Now, straight away I can see the right hand photo has a bit more color to it. Again, both of these photos are raw file straight off the camera, no processing done. There's definitely nicer green tones around here. Uh, if you hadn't guessed already, the photo on the left is the kit lens, the 60 to 50. It comes with the A6000, the A6300. The one on the right is the full frame 28mm f2, which is the cheapest full frame prime that you can buy for around 450. I'm going to zoom in now and see if we can see any differences with regards to detail. If you watched my video for the 55 and 50 millimeters, you could see there was a great deal of difference when it came to detail. Both taken with the same focus point, same aperture. The 55 millimeter test was easily identifiable as a much better, much, much better lens. Then again, it was 10 times the price. On this example, although it's a little clearer, the colours are a little nicer, I'm not too sure whether it's double the price, especially if you're only using it for the internet. Definitely some nicer, nicer colouring around here. Let's try and find some other examples. Just to lose it. It was quite a hazy day, but let's go going a bit closer Let's see what we can find yeah there's not as much difference as I thought there was going to be let's have a look at this area here, let's have a look at the fence hmm yeah I was expecting better of it, really. Definitely can't see huge, huge differences like I could with the, the Zeiss 55. That was night and day. But this, not so much. So, I guess the moral of the story is in the center of the range of the kit lens, it's not doing a bad job at all. At 50, it was flattened by the Zeiss, but Right here, right now, and on this day, if I had just emailed you this photo and you're looking at it on your smartphone, you wouldn't have been able to tell any difference. And neither can 9 out of 10 people. It's only when you start doing this. So for this occasion, I think I'm going to have to say don't spend the extra cash on this one. Go out and buy that 55mm ice lens instead because that is the true beauty of the Sony range. Primes, anyway. As always, it's been emotional.